Alrighty, welcome to Cam's Out of the Fire. This week we're going to be, uh, this lesson we're going to be making a Viking tunic. All you're going to need is a piece of fabric. This one, the blue piece here, is a piece of uh, a piece of cotton, I believe. I got this I got this in the op shop off a bolt. Uh, it is meter sixty lengthways, but uh, from off the bolt, length to length, is uh, from top to bottom, I should say, is 46 centimeters. Right, and then from that, you're going to need a t-shirt, what is roughly the same so uh, the size that fits you for your tunic. You're gonna need your chalk, tape measure, and a pair of scissors to start off. Alrighty, I've folded the piece of fabric in half. Uh, so I've got the seams going lengthways, uh, lengthways. Um, so the fabric is folded from this end to it goes over that way. I place the t-shirt on it so you can actually work out your width of how how wide you want to go. Make sure you add an inch to either side. Now from this point you need to work out how long you you want to make, add extra. I just realised it's a little bit short. From there. You need to work out how, like this is a normal size t-shirt so you want to make it a little bit longer for the actual tunic because we're going to be making a viking one i say add about uh, to an average for me because i'm a big gentleman i'm going to say 25 centimeters so mark it with your chalk sorry Get a straight edge, I've got a ruler. From the two points. This is not the normal chalk that I normally use. And there's your first point that you need cut. So cut that. Right, now you've cut that. You want to also run along this edge. So you suddenly get two pieces. That would be the main part of your body of your tunic. Now I pop that to the side. Alrighty, from that piece that you cut out off the bottom of the uh, tunic, uh, square, uh, main panel, measure your arm from wrist to mid, uh, car, uh, mid um, tricep. And then you work out the length that you're going to need. Me, it was 45 centimeters. Allow for an extra bit, add it on. This is currently folded over, so you've got two panels. Mark with chalk again. I really need to get some better chalk and cut and cut. Also make sure you cut the seam on the end too. That will become your sleeve by rolling it up and doing the seams like so. Now that goes to the side. Now this panel here, you're going to need to make some uh, gussets to go underneath your arm. So you grab the corner, fold over until you get a, a triangle like so, and cut them out. Like so. So now you've got two of these. Now, I just realised I don't have enough fabric left over, so this bit goes aside, and I'll pull out a bit more. You go. Okay. Alrighty, uh, this is an extra piece of 50 centimetres worth of fabric. From this point, you get your fabric. You're going to need to make some uh, triangles, so fold in half. Use the ruler, mark from tip to tip, then cut. Okay, so then you, once you cut that, you should have one whole triangle into a full diamond. 
and two halves. Okay, from here, you sew these two together to make another one of this section, and these are your gussets for your um, the side of your, your tunic. And we'll go from here on to the next bit. Alrighty, so you need to sew around all the edges of every piece that you've got. So make sure you fold it over slightly. So make sure the seam is inside and then fold again. And go around the whole whole lot of every single one of them. Where's that? Make sure you do this uh, to all, all every single piece. So, no. Instead of showing you this all, like I did last one, I'll just sh skip to show you to when they're all done. So I'll catch you in a bit. Alrighty. Now that you've done the edges of everything, you want to get attach this panel, the small panel, onto the sleeve panel. You sew them the seams together onto here. And then you fold it over, and you sew this one to this piece. I'll show you that in a sec. Okay, now you've got that piece sewn on, you're going to need to uh, attach these two panels to up the sides. Once you do that, looks like this one. So now you've got the sleeves done. From here, you go on to the main part of the body. Now, with the top, you sew about yay on either side. Then you work get to the center because you've got both of these together. So, so you actually put a head hole in here. And then we'll go from there. I'll show you the next stage. Alrighty, now you've done the shoulders. When the head hole at the top where we're going to be modifying later. Get your sleeve. You're going to need to sew the sleeve onto here. You're also going to need your gusset to go onto here. So it gives you the rough shape of the tunic. So you need to sew all the, this seam here now, all the way around. Easiest way to start from this shoulder, work down one side, then to the other side. Because the center point here matches up with that point. So I'll catch on. Uh, I should mention before you actually sew that on, turn it inside out and then slot it inside the actual inside of your the tunic makes it so much easier to actually sew on so center point into here so yeah then you work from here up and around makes it so much easier so that way you got your seams all going to be on the inside of your tunic so there's another little tip for you alrighty now that you've got all the edges and that all the seams done so you've got all the sewn up and all the meeting up at the ends so you've got your sleeves all attached, your gusts all attached. Now we need to work on the neck of the actual thing. So you need to roughly find the halfway point. The easiest way is to grab shoulder to shoulder, pull forward, come to the pull out, and then you need to mark where that is. You need to cut down to about, yay. Only on one side. This is where you're going to make the head hole. Actually, let's make that a little bit longer because I know these are a little bit shorter. So, from here, you need to fold these over slightly and seam up these. Bring this over a little bit as well, so make a fold like so. I'm not sure if you guys can see this. Uh, so you actually bring the collar into a bit. At this point you could possibly chuck on a extra bit of fittings and I'll show you that this in a sec. Alrighty, so here's the, the he finished uh, tunic. Gives you, comes past the knees, up, long sleeves up to the, the wrists, neck, I'm using the mannequin tonight because I really can't be bothered to get in front of the camera. But here's another uh, LARP costume for 
making uh, for your lab kit or basic reenactment. You can also add to this uh, your thonging or tabard weaving, like this one, or like if I can get this one out, this one to go around the edges of the collar or and around the the cuffs. So yeah. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one. So catch you later.